Hey everybody, I'm Matt Saunders, a community manager for the Cisco Learning Network, a part of Cisco's learning and certifications organization. And I'm Rigo Villa. I'm also one of the community managers on the Cisco Learning Network. And in our work with the community every day, we get to see folks sharing their exam passes um, on a regular basis. And we also support candidates who face challenges with their exams. And so here in this video, we wanted to share with everybody five very important tips to help you overcome common challenges faced during the online proctored exam experience. So this isn't about the in-person exams that you take at the Pearson View testing centers. This is strictly about taking your exam from home. And so to get us started, I wanted to ask uh, Rigo, would you share with us the very first tip? Yeah, absolutely. Thanks, Matt. So first tip, uh, I want to talk about video feed issues. So one of the things that we have found is that many candidates face video feed issues during their exams, which can actually hinder their progress. And most of these issues arise due to using either business devices or business connections, as well as having connectivity problems. To avoid this issue, uh, we do recommend ensuring that you do have a stable internet connection and also use a personal device if at all possible. If you do experience any technical issues during your exam, you can raise your hand during the OnView uh, application, or you can also contact your proctor through the chat function as well. Nice, perfect. Thank you so much, Rigo. And the second tip that I'll share is about workspace compliance. And so this is about your home desk area. There's uh, particular guidelines and restrictions that you must follow per Pearson Views uh, provided and published um, system re requirements documentation. And so it's very important that you understand and read thoroughly and really follow those uh, guidelines um, as carefully as possible. Um, this is all about making sure that you don't have some sort of visual aids or other um, assisting uh, not in notes in your workspace that might unfairly help you during the exam process. So be sure to familiarize yourself with those workspace requirements that's outlined in the online testing guide available on the Pearson View website. And we'll also be sure to include a link to that guide in the description of this video as well. Uh, Rigo, tip number three for you, please. Thank you, Matt. So tip number three, ID issues. So many candidates encounter issues with their identification documents during the check-in process. So one thing that I want to recommend is ensuring that your ID is clear and not blurry. And you're also gonna need to avoid using any identification that is from a sanctioned country as they may not be accepted. So again, please double check the guidelines provided by Pearson View regarding all of the acceptable forms of identification. And uh, this will allow you to uh, make sure you're good to go for your, for your exam. Awesome, thank you so much, Rigo. And then our fourth tip is about your system itself and browser violations or prohibited applications and processes that could be running in the background of either your web browser or just your desktop system itself. And so again, it's really critical to understand you're not allowed to have any third party applications running. And it's really important to close those applications out prior to starting your check-in process. Some of these common applications uh, would include like ultra viewer service, LAN desk remote control service, and the Autodesk desktop licensing service. Again, this could just be seen as a possible um, aid during your exam um, time with Pearson View. And so they're gonna tightly control that and make sure that you're not maybe act, um, running some sort of a, 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 an, an aid service in the background. And so Rigo, over to you for tip number five, please. All right, and tip number five, connectivity issues and unresponsiveness. Please ensure that you have a stable internet connection before starting your exam. Uh, to, and to reduce the likelihood of internet connectivity issues, we highly advise using a wired internet connection when taking your online proctored exam. And also uh, do a system test in advance, if at all possible. We find that connectivity issues can lead to revoked sessions or being marked as unresponsive. And if you do become disconnected, the exam timer will pause and the proctor will attempt to contact you either through your computer or by phone. 
So if you do become disconnected, please do be on the lookout for a uh, communication from your proctor. And those are our five main core tips that we've learned from the community and from our testing partner, Pearson View, over the years. Um, but we also have a couple personal recommendations as well. And for myself, I know that when I'm reading technical subject matter, it helps me personally to read those, read that out loud a little bit so I can hear it just as much as I can read it. And also sometimes I need to kind of look off into the distance, maybe look off to the side and think about what I'm reading or what I've been asked or what I need to say. And the challenge with that in an online exam experience is again, that the proctor may not know if you might perhaps have a friend you're reading a question to that can re help you with an answer, or you might have notes on a whiteboard off to the distance. So it's really difficult for them to um, not see that as a potential exam violation. And so it's important for you as the exam candidate to really kind of think ahead of time a little bit and to train yourself to focus on the screen only and not reading questions out loud or even mouthing the questions silently to yourself, but kind of letting your mouth read the words they can really be concerned with that as a potential violation and it can cause you to also to be um, ineligible to complete your exam so really be sure to focus on the screen and just read the questions and answer them without wandering eyes or verbal any sort of verbal communications those are great tips matt thank you for sharing that uh, and i also have uh, one of my uh, personal tips that i like to share with everybody um, it, this is just to help prevent an unfortunate situation where your exam could be revoked. Uh, please avoid leaving the view of the camera during the exam. So this could include, for example, um, leaning off the screen to pick something off the floor, or maybe leaning way too close to the camera where your face becomes obscure. And on a related side note, if you are using a, a laptop, we highly recommend making sure that the charger is plugged in before your check-in process begins. This is a good way to avoid a situation where you get a low battery in the middle of your exam, which could be a little problematic since you need to be in the camera view at all times. So please be sure to check that before your exam begins to make sure that you don't run into any uh, unfortunate situation uh, that could lead to a revoked exam. Thank you so much, Rigo. Okay, and so to summarize, passing your certification online proctored exam does require careful attention to the system requirements and the exam rules. So please be sure to review all of that information before you start your exam. And remember to check your internet connection, close all your third-party apps, comply with workspace guidelines, verify the clarity of your identification documents, keep yourself in camera view the entire time, and be sure to reach out to support with Pearson View if you do happen to face any technical difficulties. Mm -hmm.